My name is Noah Dolan. I am from Westchester, Pennsylvania, and I am a former Republican. Former Republican uh, comes to my mouth pretty easily these days. It doesn't, doesn't sound weird saying it. That wasn't always the case. Uh, I guess the split goes back to about 2015, when then candidate Trump was running for election in the Republican primaries. And as he was gaining more and more traction with the base, I, I would look around at family and friends who were lifelong Republicans. And I was wondering, like, guys, is this, is this something we really want? Is this really what we want in office? Um, and I didn't vote for him in 2016. And yet I stayed with the party for another two years, two, three years almost. And it was because in my heart and, and in my head, I still believed in what I thought the Republican Party was. I still believed in the ideals of a small government, in checks and balances being important. I had what I considered a healthy mistrust of authority. Uh, I wasn't libertarian. I, I wasn't crazy about it. But I, I still held those beliefs, and I still believed uh, that the party held those beliefs. Is, is what I thought. And I left the party finally when I realized that Trump was rewriting it completely. And the people I had helped put there, the senators, and, and representatives that I had helped put there were completely fine with that, if that meant holding on to their, to their seats. So Toomey, uh, as I watched as he rolled over, I watched as Rand Paul, which is one of the guys I grew up uh, modeling after, rolled over. I watched as Paul Ryan completely folded. Um, and those were guys that a very young me looked up to is like, that's the next generation of, of American leaders on the right. And I watched as they let Trump turn the Republican party into essentially a party without any platform other than hate. And suddenly where there was once small government and free trade, we had extreme tariffs that were hurting farmers in Iowa. Uh, and where once, we liked local governments to settle things on their own. We were sending federal troops in uh, where they weren't even welcome. And so I, I really became disillusioned in about 2018, 2019, and I left. And I have not joined another party since. I'm still an independent because I don't believe the Democratic Party has those ideals that I once believed the Republican Party did and that I still hold myself. But I will be voting for Joe Biden in the upcoming election. And partially because I believe that Mr. Biden is a good man and that good man is something we need in politics right now. But I also have a little bit of a closer personal connection. Uh, I go to the University of Delaware, which is Mr. Biden's alma mater. Uh, and through, through that, I've been lucky enough to interact with the Biden Institute. I'm a bartender at UD, and I was serving drinks at a couple Biden Institute events, and I was lucky enough to meet the people that Mr. Biden surrounds himself and that helped make him the man he is today. So I was lucky enough to meet his wonderful sister, some of his political advisors, and the people that surround him at his office at the Biden Institute. And I'm happy to say that they're all very good people. And while I disagree with them on a lot of the solutions to the issues that our country faces, I know that their hearts are in the right place. I cannot say the same about our current president. And that's why I'll be voting for Joe in 2020.